Hi, I'm Amber Marshall, and as most of you may know, the Royal Winter Fair has gone virtual this year, which has been so exciting and a lot of fun for me, taking part in many different aspects of the Royal. Now, when they asked me about doing the Royal's Butter Sculpture Challenge, I was a little bit confused because I'm not an artist by any means. But I do have one thing that kind of makes this unique to me and my farm, and that, of course, is my duck named Butter. Now, when I told Butter here that there was a butter sculpting competition and that they needed me to sculpt something out of butter, even though I've never done this before, I said, okay, Butter, I'll do this under one condition. You are gonna be my model. So, are you gonna be a good girl for this? <laughs> Thank you to the Royal for sending me this care package filled with some butter sculpting tools and of course this beautiful apron. And Butter, you have to be a good girl. She's just washed herself off in the sink. And uh, you're just gonna have to be my model. I know, you're not gonna wanna sit in there. We might have to put you back in the sink. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the most challenging part of the challenge. You stay, and I sculpt you. Okay, deal? Or do you wanna go back in the sink? Stay. Okay, good, occupy yourself with those. So, on my farm, I have a Jersey cow and a loose duck. And she produces this beautiful, creamy butter. So I'm gonna have that on my plate. Butter, what are you doing? Oh, that's right, thank you for reminding me. Cleanliness, don't eat the butter. Oh no, you don't need to eat that, thank you. Just please don't poop on the counter. Okay, so I have never done this or even did a practice run. So you guys are gonna bear with me while I go through this. I encourage all of you to share your butter sculptures with the Royal and myself, and make sure you hashtag to see all the other photos and videos. Okay, so now that I've fused my butter together, we're gonna pull out some of our tools. I wish my grandfather was still with us. He used to carve ducks out of wood, and he was phenomenal. And uh, he would probably have a few tips for me at this point. Um, I want a duck that's nesting or laying down. And then I'm gonna use some of my other butter to create some of the details. Now, I would imagine that sculpting butter would be a little bit easier than sculpting wood, which I've also never tried. But I can see it all just being very time consuming. Does this look like you? No? Okay, I'll keep working at it. Don't do that. You are gonna be sick, Mrs. take a quick time out because this butter is getting a little bit too soft to continue <laughs> to continue sculpting so I'll beat you back in a few minutes I'm just gonna let this settle in the freezer for a moment and uh, butter and I will be right back I've put my butter in the freezer for a little bit just so that it hardens up a little it was getting a little bit too malleable so we'll see what we can do with it now Oh, and I also brought down one of Butter's beautiful eggs. So I thought that maybe we can incorporate this. I don't recommend creating your sculpture with a duck. Uh, I think for my first try, it's not horrible. And I hope to see all of your famous Butter creations. And um, Butter, what do you think?